First sit-down interview since the pandemic began, Royal Caribbean CEO Richard Fain tells CBS News he's pushing to set sail again, now that there's more information about how to stop the spread of COVID. We would like to work closely with the CDC to make sure that we do that in a safe and healthy way. No cruise ship with passengers has left a U.S. port in over a year. Last February, a major COVID outbreak on board the Diamond Princess, run by a separate cruise company, left passengers stuck at sea for nearly a month. Soon after, there was another outbreak on board the Grand Princess. In all, more than 800 were infected with COVID and more than a dozen people died. In mid-March, the CDC issued a no-sale order stopping all cruises from the U.S. I've done four cruises since COVID appeared, uh, and I will be doing another one very soon. But cruises have resumed elsewhere. Morgan O'Brien is an American travel video blogger living in Germany. On board the ship, we're required to wear a surgical mask at any time we're moving around the ship. In videos like these, he's pushing the CDC to establish protocols cruise ships outside the U.S. are already using. People are getting temperature checks every day. We have to be tested uh, 72 hours before the cruise leaves. And of course, it has to be a negative PCR test. Royal Caribbean has tested those systems abroad and Fain says with encouraging results. The Royal Caribbean group alone has carried over 100,000 guests. And of that, we've only had 10 cases. We would like to be treated a very similar way to the airlines and other forms of transportation. Last week, the CDC unveiled technical steps for cruise operators, including trial voyages with volunteers and updating the definition of COVID-like illness for reporting. But they have not set a specific return date. Cruise lines are also choosing to install better filtration systems to clean the air. Here in the next few months, should they be able to set sail, what will be different? All the cruise lines are working towards the best protocols. That includes new ways of circulating air, new filtration. It includes cleanliness, ways to clean areas. It includes testing. The CDC also recommends passengers and crew get vaccines before boarding. But some companies are taking it further. Royal Caribbean and Norwegian say they will require all passengers and crew to be inoculated. Nobody can guarantee anybody is safe from COVID anywhere in America or anywhere else. Actually, the irony is, if you go on a ship, you're going to reduce your risk of coming down with the virus. Now, Fain makes that assertion by saying that they will test passengers before, during and after trips. They will also be able to contact trace with technology they describe as a tracelet. Take a look. It's a wearable uh, device, tracking device. It has RFID technology so that if there is a positive case on board, they can isolate that individual and let you know if you've come anywhere near them within six feet. Um, Really uh, impressive stuff. Now, the vessel you see behind me, this huge thing, can carry up to 4,500 people. The cruise industry wants to set sail again here in the U.S. by July, but of course the CDC has not permitted that just yet. And Tony, I know you are a fan of these huge vessels. You're among 15 million Americans who would have gone on a cruise in this past year, and instead that number has been zero. Errol, I'm glad you mentioned that. I was going to say that boat looks pretty inviting to me. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, look, I'm rooting for the cruise industry, me not too. only because 100,000 people work in it, but yeah. because there is nothing like being out on the open ocean and not seeing land. It really alters your view of the whole planet. No, yeah. and I've been on a, a couple of cruise, Holland America and Royal Caribbean, to name a couple. That I think it's great for families because it's something for yeah. all ages. You're all in one area. You can come and go as you please. So I think Mr. Fain makes a really good point of the 100,000 people. 100,000 100, passengers, only 10, 10 cases. Yeah, I think yeah. that That's is very good appealing. news. I hope my wife is you, watching. Tony. She holds the swing vote in our household. <laughs> She's uh, currently at no. On as cruises. she should. As she I thought should. she held the only vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got a baby coming, so you can't go cruising. Not for a little summer. while, but eventually. All right.